Mr. Ryan, it seemed that during the 19th century, Western society was finally moving towards a a system of government which would allow individual maximum freedom. But all of a sudden, near the close of the century, a sharp reversal took place. Could you explain what caused the growth of collectivist ideology during the last part of the 19th century? There wasn't any sharp re uh, reversal, really. It was a very gradual process. And uh, the cause, as in any historical development, uh, lies in the philosophy uh, of the period. Uh, the cause uh, is always philosophical. The thinking of any given period is expressed in action historically in the next period. As for instance, it was the thinking of the 18th centuries that created the free enterprise system of the 19th. It is the age of reason, the age of enlightenment that laid the foundations, which in practice led to the industrial revolution and to the capitalist or semi-capitalist societies of the 19th century. Now, while the practice the actual reality in, of the 19th century was predominantly capitalist or on the basis of freedom and reason. The philosophical trend had changed long ago and was progressively moving during the 19th century towards a denial of reason and collectivism. The uh, crucial influence here was Kant and uh, thereafter Hegel and all their smaller descendants, which uh, such as Marx, uh, who is the father of Soviet communism, and Fichte, who is the father of German Nazism, uh, all those lesser descendants of Kant and Hegel. That was the main philosophical trend, uh, which was leading away from the Aristotelian influence that dominated uh, the age of reason and the age of enlightenment in philosophy. Now, observe also the following, that such defenders as capitalism did have in the 19th century contributed perhaps the most to the destruction of capitalism, namely Bentham, Mill, Spencer. All of them were the philosophical defenders of capitalism. All of them shared the altruist morality. And Mill, for instance, who was uh, the student of Bentham, finished his life as a socialist because the moral implications of uh, the theories of these three great alleged uh, defenders of capitalism led to collectivism. The morality of altruism could not coexist with capitalism. It was a growing conflict and it reached its climax today. Uh, because if you follow the logical implications of altruism, you have to end up in collectivism. If you want to see a renaissance of freedom and capitalism, it's the altruist morality that men have to reject. And the rebellion against altruism has to start in philosophy.